Hello and welcome back to the Whimsical Workshop. This week we have some really exciting news. We are partnering with Benartex Fabrics to shoot a series of videos for their YouTube channel. So make sure you go out and follow them on YouTube. Uh, but to do that, their partner company, Bernina, sent me this machine to sew on for all of the videos. As you may know, I am a Bernina ambassador. I have been sewing on Berninas for 20 years. Currently I sew on a 440, which is a little over 10 years old. So I'm very excited to be sewing on the latest and greatest sewing machine. And I thought I would share an unboxing with you before we get it set up and start working on the videos. So I'm gonna put this down and then we can open it up and see which model they sent me. It's heavy. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we've got. I also have a puppy running around the studio, so you may see her as well, but let's see here. So in the Bernina, in the box, oh, gotta get it open so I can actually get into it. All right, so in the box is the sewing table. This is the table that slides onto the machine that you can use when it's not sitting in a cabinet. We got one of those. And then we have the knee lift. If you've not used a Bernina before, the knee lift goes into the machine and you can use this to raise and lower your presser foot rather than pushing the button on the machine to do that. Um, really handy when you're doing blanket stitching or any kind of decorative stitching where you need to raise the foot up a little to pivot your piece. You've seen me do that in a lot of my videos. So the knee lift is very handy to have. And we do have to bring, send this back in three months, so I'm gonna keep all the packaging. What else we've got? This is a gauge that fits onto the table so you can slide it and set your seam allowance, I think. Don't quote me on that. All right, then we've got our phone, the manual. This is how powerful this machine is. This is the manual. They also have uh, simulators on the Bernini website that you can go out and actually play around with the different machines virtually. Um, and you can go through them for training. And if you have a question or you need something, they have a really robust supportive website for all of their machines, not just the one that we've got here, but it looks like I got the 570 quilter edition. So I'll be doing some reading. Uh, then we've got a DVD, the warranty card, and a catalog of accessories. One of the nice things about the 570 is my feet from the 440, some of them will fit on this machine. So that will be handy. At least I think they do. All right, so then we've got bobbins. This machine takes much bigger bobbins than the older 440 does. Uh, I have thread caps. This is for their oil. A screwdriver, which you always need, um, a stylus to touch the computer screen with, seam ripper, lint brush cleaner, and a gauge setter. So we've got all kinds of little goodies in the bag. I'm so excited. I did sew on a 570 two years ago. I actually had to um, go to Rochester, where I'm from, Rochester, New York, visit my parents, and I was gonna be there for a while, and I had a bunch of sewing projects I needed to do on the road. And the bobbin case, in it's the Bernina store in Rochester, New York, and the woman there was so, so sweet. She lent me a 570 to use for the couple weeks I was there, and I was able to sew on it then, so I know it's a lovely machine. I had to send that one back, too. All right, this is the case to put all the feet in. Um, I don't think any of the feet are in it, so I might not open that right away. Uh, handy dandy power cord. All the different pressing feet. And happily there is an open toe foot. That's one of my favorite feet to use. What else we've got here? Oh, how cute, a little pack of thread. This is Mettler Threads. A pack of quilting needles, we need those. Oh, and then this is the very, very nice Bernina BSR, Bernina Stitch Regulator. This actually makes your machine, um, when you're quilting, it makes all your stitches even. It's a very, very nice foot to have. I do have this for my 440, so it's very nice to have it for the 570. 
So those are all some really great goodies to have here. All right, we're getting there. There's layers and layers of styrofoam. I don't know about you, but I'm never very good at getting this styrofoam out. All right, so we have that. All right, we're down to the good nitty gritty here. I believe this is a cover, maybe? Or a tote bag? Let's see. I need some scissors to open this up. Let's see what we've got. This is the sewing machine cover. So we can just put that over, keep it from getting dusty and dirty. It's a very, very nice fabric one. Has um, magnetic snaps and a pocket in the front so you can store some of this stuff in the front of it. So we'll probably use that when I'm not, well, let's be honest, I'm not gonna not be using the machine. I'll be sewing on it like most of the time we have it. So stay tuned for all of those videos. So we're just gonna slide this back in this bag for now. Again, um, if I end up owning this machine, which is a possibility, then I can open it up. All right, next up is the machine itself. Oh my goodness, and here it is. All right, and here is the pressing foot. Um, one of the favorite things I love about Romania sewing machines is you tap the foot to go needle up or needle down. It's a nice handy feature to have on them. I don't know if other machines have them because they're really mostly sewn on Bernina's, but it is one of my favorite features to have on a machine. And then we've got to unwrap this puppy. tape on here. We'll pull that out. All right. There's the tag for it. We'll keep that. And then we have, oh, see, this is a cool little gauge. This was on here so that the arm didn't sh shift during travel. So we will keep that for um, if it goes back. And then we have a stitch off cloth. What's this? A more styrofoam, more styrofoam. All right, so there it is. Let's turn you around for your... There is the Bernina 570. So I'm very excited to put this machine through its paces. I'm gonna check out all the special features on it. Um, it does do all the features I've already known and loved on my Bernina. Um, so I will run through those and shoot some videos as I learn how to use this machine, as well as some of the projects we have coming on it. As I mentioned earlier, we did get this to borrow to shoot videos for the Benner Tech's YouTube channel. Be sure to hop over to the Benner Tech's channel on YouTube and subscribe so that you will know when those videos drop, as well as subscribe to our channel, which you're watching right now on this video, uh, to see all the other fun projects I'll be doing with this, as well as the different stitches and feet and functions this machine has. Um, as always, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.